Hello Galactic Family. There is serious fighting going on as 43 different national militaries begin a coordinated takedown of the Khazarian Mafia, Pentagon sources say. Meanwhile, a source in one of the families that owns the Federal Reserve Board says that all fund blockages we are experiencing in the USA are due to the Bush Clinton and Rothschilds and Rockefeller crime families. We were told that they issued a firm threat that the entire family would be killed of anyone who releases or receives any of the RV, redemption bonds or currency exchanges funds. The fight is also getting personal for this writer. This morning nine goons from the Tokyo tax office burst into my home and began seizing property. They work for Yuriko Koik, the Tokyo governor and Khazarian mafia stooge who was fraudulently elected recently. All the money in my bank accounts, including that earned from this blog, has also been seized. Anybody with even a remote connection to me is being subjected to similar harassment including whistleblowing lawyers having their law licenses revoked. Gangsters from both factions of the Yamaguchi Gumi Yakuza Syndicate have also informed me that Rothschild Japan agent Michael Greenberg is trying to hire hitmen to have me killed. My webmaster has also been hit with a cancer causing poison by these same murderous gangsters. The reason for this is because this blog has exposed the Khazarian Mafia's crimes, especially their privately owned central bank fraud scheme. There have also been at least three honey traps beautiful women who unnaturally try to make themselves available to me sent my way in the past week. Other honest journalists and whistleblowers are experiencing similar things and the best advice is to avoid regular hangouts and new friends until this all blows over, presumably by November 8. The battle is expected to intensify over the coming two weeks as the U.S. presidential election approaches. Here NSA and other agency whistleblowers have revealed that Hillary Clinton or whatever look-alike or clone who is pretending to be her reports to Evelyn de Rothschild. Donald Trump, for his part, reports to Israeli gangster Roy Cohen, according to CIA and NSA sources. I would rather have the Israeli mafia in power than the Bush Clinton Rockefeller crime family was how one Jewish CIA source described the presidential election battle. In either case, the fact the U.S. government is threatening to arrest Russian diplomats if they try to verify the upcoming election as free and fair is a clear indication the whole election campaign is a giant fraud. In any case, Pentagon sources keep saying it will be none of the above. Head of U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff General Joseph Dunford met with Korean and Japanese top military brass on October 14 and the military chiefs of 43 nations on October 17 to discuss the final takedown of the cabal on all continents, Pentagon sources says. This is how Pentagon sources describe the situation the cabal sealed their fate with multiple assassination attempts on Dunford which in turn sped up mass arrests, extrajudicials, GCR global currency reset and a new financial system based on gold priced in Shanghai. Now that the Chinese yuan is in the IMF special drawing rights SDR currency basket, the next step will be to incorporate the Iran rial as a part of the SDR and as currency for the Middle East while the Zimbabwe dollar will join the SDR as a currency for Africa, the Pentagon sources say. Once the Khazarian Mafia loses their magic money machine, the last of the mercenary armies and assassins still in their employ will have no choice to surrender or retire. There are now moves afoot as well to take away the Khazarian Mafia's control of the corporate media, especially in the United States. That is why AT&T is being allowed to buy Time Warner after Comcast was blocked from buying it, the Pentagon sources say.
the U.S. Khazarian Mafia is using both Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump to try to block the merger, the sources say. However, the merger might still get approved because what is not good for the Jewish Mafia is good for America, the Pentagon source said. Certainly the corporate media in the United States is now so degenerate and full of lies that new ownership, and antitrust action, is definitely needed if people are to once again hear the truth on so-called mainstream media. There is also a huge information war raging around WikiLeaks and Julian Assange these days that is probably part of a sophisticated takedown of Khazarian cabal disinformation. WikiLeaks and Assange have always been part of a Khazarian mob disinformation scam as can be seen by their shady track record and widespread positive coverage in corporate media propaganda rags like Time magazine. For a good background on this, please read the article at this link. What is very clear though is that the recent data dumps blamed on WikiLeaks are now appear the real deal but they are not coming from either Assange or WikiLeaks but instead from insiders at the NSA and the agencies. Now the death of Julian Assange real or fake and of WikiLeaks director Gavin McFadden is being linked to the Hillary Clinton campaign. This seems to be a clever two birds with one stone strategy to get rid of fake whistleblowers and place the blame on the Bush-Clinton mob at the same time. There are also continued moves being made against the Khazarian Mafia-occupied state of Israel. This is how the Pentagon describes the situation Israel has lost so many submarines since 2013 it is trying to buy three more from Germany but it is being put back into its sandbox with Russian bases not just in Syria but Cyprus and Egypt. The source continues by saying Israeli subs make good anti-sub warfare ASW training and no matter how many it buys they will not be allowed to launch nukes. In Khazarian Mafia occupied Japan too, a takedown is continuing. One source close to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said that 300 Khazarian mobsters in Japan have been rounded up and taken to a U.S. military base. This may be disinformation but we can confirm that Mark Schwartz, chairman of Goldman Sachs Asia Pacific Region, announced his resignation last week. Goldman Sachs has led the looting of Japan's government pension funds, postal savings, agricultural bank etc. under the regime of their slave Shinzo Abe. Japanese right-wing sources, for their part say that Abe's Liberal Democratic Party is now waving the surrender flag, and has given up resistance. They say Tokyo Governor Koik is actually one of the good guys and that the raid on my house took place without her knowledge or consent. However, it is clear there are still many bad guys who need to be rounded up in Japan. CIA sources in Asia say. The Japanese government is illegally detaining 15 U.S. military operatives who were stationed in Afghanistan and are now being held in prison in Japan. They are not on a U.S. military base, but at a black site. This was done at the request of the cabal because these 15 soldiers were going to tell the world about the U.S. government's involvement and control of the opium trade in Afghanistan for the past 13-plus years. For Japan to do this violates the Geneva Convention as well as UN rules. The UN of course, is still a Khazarian Mafia tool but, hopefully, not for much longer. The latest Afghan opium crop is up 43% from a year ago, according to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime so clearly the Bush drug dealing branch of the Khazarian Mafia is trying hard to make up for lost oil revenue and lost cocaine and marijuana thanks to legalization revenue by selling more opium and heroin. It is also clear from the information about the arrests of U.S. military officers that some of that money is going into payoffs to elements of the Japanese government. 
Presumably this is the ill-linked North Korean Unification Church faction that has long been supplying the Bushma with amphetamines. In Thailand meanwhile, the playboy crown prince Mahavajiro Longkorn is too close to Bush agent Thaksin Shinawetra, too distant from the people, and may be honey trapped by the Chinese, so even if he ascends, Lee's Majest may not be enforced and he would be living in a gilded cage and could be terminated at any time with blood transfusions. In other words, the Khazarians are not going to get their hands on the Thai royal gold via the Crown Prince. In closing this week, we ask anybody who is in a position to take action against the Khazarian Mafia cabal to do so. This will be especially important during the next two weeks as they try to impose yet another fake government on the American people and continue their efforts to start World War III. On that front the White Dragon Society has given Abe and his henchmen until October 31st to resign if they wish to avoid lifelong prison sentences.